barrel. Jack a barrel. Bryce, Josh is behind me. Last day in Indiana, super sad. Love these guys. Had such a great time last night and the rest of the week. And we are now, then we're going to be heading to Nashville to meet up with Blake and the boys. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah, can't wait to meet up with those boys. Never been to Nashville, so. Never been to Indiana, never been to Kentucky, never been to Nashville. We're going through the bucket list. <laughs> and here is a yard a twig. Twig <laughs> Everything is just oh my goodness. in America. Holy moly, <laughs> yeah. A we do it right in America. Yeah, you Canadians could learn a thing or two. Seriously, man. Everything is excessive. We have got nothing on you guys. Look at the size of the pocket. <laughs> Look at this. You could create like a bomb with this. Like, oh, that pop rock. Pop rocks, I need that. <laughs> so hard oh, to find. Oh, Jesus, look at Hershey. What? Send that to Michael. Like throw that somewhere. That's literally crazy. Knock around. Literally knock somebody out with that. Like. Dude, no, I can beat somebody to death with the yeah, dumbbells. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> this place is awesome, huh? Uh, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> what up, everybody? This is Lunchbox FPV in the RV with my lovely fiance Lorena. What up, girl? So, where are we heading right now? Nashville. So. We're off to Nashville right now, but before we even get talking about that, I really want to take the time to uh, wrap up all the awesomeness that happened in Louisville and um, Indiana. So, um, first of all, what an amazing experience racing in the caves. That was so awesome. Uh, Mega get, Drone get, yeah, Mega Drone X, MDX organizers, you guys are awesome. All the volunteers and everyone who helped out, the front, the ladies at the front desk, so everyone's such sweethearts who got the event, and getting everything done. It was just so, so awesome. Uh, can't wait for MDX 2018 already. Uh, definitely gonna be there myself, that's for sure. You guys won me over on this one. One of the best drone events I've ever gone to. Um, after that, obviously, as you all know, or if you don't know, my cat Lucky decided to run into a cave, um, and we lost him for, I don't know, like 10 hours. Um, so we want to give a sh big shout out to the Mega Cavern and staff who like went into the caves with us, showed us around, helped us look for the cat. Like honestly, you guys are amazing. Uh, big shout out to Kim. Um, she stayed after work and brought us into the caves, uh, all the way into the back, and like literally we got to see, we'll see and search the whole cavern um, until we found our cat, which was so sweet. Honestly, such amazing people. Uh, thank you to all the ladies at the front desk. Uh, who are willing to help out? Um, you know, post about Lucky online if we if we didn't find him, Thank and just you. and just giving us like you know a lot of support and everyone at the event, man. Honestly, you guys were all so supportive. Like everyone was so worried about our little baby. So uh, Lucky is a big part of our life. So we just want to thank everyone for that. Um, I want to give a personal huge shout out to like Bryce and Josh. Uh, you guys were like insanely, insanely like the best host ever. Showed us around everywhere. Um, literally took us out for dinners, flying spots. Uh, you know, nonstop laughs, nonstop fun. You guys are just awesome. So I just wanted to like really thank you guys for such an amazing time. Um, honestly, uh, it's just been real, guys. It's been real. And uh, now we're heading out to Nashville. Um, oh wait, before we go to Nashville, big part of the Make a Drone X, obviously. I kind of I got off. Let's talk about this was launching my Lunchbox V2. So I got to show it to all the pilots uh, and demo it to a lot of a lot of uh, people. I get awesome feedback. So uh, then I got to sit with Jesse and uh, finalize a lot of the details for the Kickstarter guys. So like that'll be going up soon. I promise you within the next 10 days, Lunchbox V2 will be available for purchase uh, on Kickstarter with some really awesome kits. Um, and now we're heading out to uh, Nashville. Um, so we're going over there. Uh, my buddy Blake hit me up. Uh, he was at MDX and he's like, hey man, if you're coming down south, why don't you come some rips and bats with the locals here? Um, so we hopped in our RV now and we are heading to Nashville to go meet up with them. So let's check that out, guys. What's up everybody, it's Lunchbox FTV. Uh, I am here with Jeff. He is so kind to take us in, humble us into his house. 
Um, so we parked the RV over there, and now we're going to go meet up with Nashville boys, right? Yeah. So we're going to do some flying. Um, and I was just asking, so what is there to know about Nashville, Tennessee? Since I know nothing really about it, this is uh, one of my first times, so. Nashville. Well, it is my first time. <laughs> yeah, Nashville's real big in the country music, so if you go downtown, there's like a lot of places you can go, like bars and have like live music and stuff like yeah. that. Like on 2nd Avenue, it's oh, cool. a couple of places to go. So like almost every bar there just has like live country music going on yeah, like every other night. There's some CMA awards were a couple nights ago, so. I heard about that. People asked me yeah. like, oh, you're gonna go check it out. And That's I was, really big, but, uh, I, I was gonna guess like tickets are pretty hard to get for that, so. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so. you know, we just watch it on TV. Yeah. But yeah, it's mainly just a lot of country music, uh, a lot of nice places to go. We've got a few places, spots to fly. But uh, all in all, it's a pretty friendly town. Great place to live. Yeah, I've seen the scenery's been like epic yeah, everywhere. The weather's pretty beautiful. nice. Uh, so is it like is, this, is it like this? Like, how about like in December? Like, does it get much colder than this, or um, is it kind of like fluctuating through this? It'll get down. It'll snow a couple of times, maybe yeah. a year, but not long. It doesn't oh, okay, stick. It doesn't stick. Okay. Maybe, maybe get like a couple of days of snow. That we can so it's not like up in Canada, where like no. you know, like you gotta shovel your car out every other day. No, no, no it's not like that. that. Okay. Summertime is pretty damn hot and balmy, but uh, and humid, but. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, like yesterday it was really, it was actually very hot out yesterday. Yeah. Like I was, I was in my shorts yesterday. So. Yeah, it's been, it's seasonally kind of warm for, for now. It's usually a little bit cold, about, about like this, uh, but it's been fairly warm the last couple of weeks. But uh, pretty good weather, great flying weather. We, we flew last year pretty much. Oh, yeah. It seemed right. like almost every weekend it was like in the 50s. It was like, it was like, it was like a, nice. a rare weekend where you couldn't fly because of a bit of snow or something. Yeah, so or... we're pretty lucky. We got pretty good flying weather down here. Well, what we do, what we do in the winter is we take our, uh, we take a, um, like mop poles, and we put our receivers on the end with our antennas, and we yeah. stick them out of our truck windows, yeah. and we just put the heat on in the car, and we sit in the car and fly out, like yeah. on the frozen rivers and stuff like that. Yeah, that's why we got we got the trailer now. I've got uh, diversity receivers in it. Oh, okay, so you can just plug right in. Yeah, so we can plug in, and I got heat and air conditioning in there now. So oh, gets, that's awesome. If it gets too cold, we can fly out of the trailer. That, so. That's that's like my next step for the RV, like yeah. to fix that up because it's got that like. Um, it's got the TV antenna on, right? Like the huge yeah. like, TV antenna. Yeah. I'm like, well, I could just crank that thing up and put a bunch of receivers on it and then yep. put, put the, the lines down into the into the RV itself. Yeah, it's basically what I did. Just stuck it outside the back. Oh, I'm anxious to see person. that. So you got like a, a full RV rig. Uh, I mean, a full uh, FPV rig going on back there. Yeah, we got, I've got a TV tied into the second line of the feed so you can watch the boost line. Oh, that's awesome. So we got two stations uh, to do uh, so Pretty cool. Oh, that's really cool, nice. man. I'm awesome to check that out. I'm really excited. So this is it, man. So this is Tennessee Nashville, guys. We're gonna do some flying and we'll be back in a bit. So we just got to the local flying field here in Nashville. What we got here? What's up? I'm Trey, Soy Boy. Mr. Soy Boy FPV Mr. over Soy here. Boy FPV. And what What's are you up? flying today? Uh, the new Show Me What You Got Steez frame. Oh shit, the Show Me What You Got. Jet, Jet, you're gonna be proud of this, boy. Yeah. That's, that's Jet's design, right? That's Jet's yeah, design? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's so it's Jet, sick. Jet. I'm gonna hit you up and show you what he's got. Yeah, dude. All right. We're gonna send him a little PM after. We'll show him what he's got. Then who do we got over here? Oh, Sloth. Oh, what up, buddy? On YouTube. What do we got over here? What are you flying today? I'm flying Astro X5. That's yeah, awesome. Dude, I love it, man. Yeah, and he was just telling me he just gave me like a whole 10 minute spiel on how that is his master setup now. Yep. He's loving it. He's got everything he likes on. Beta flight board. Locked in. There'll be clones to come. There'll be clones to come. Whole fleet. <laughs> yeah. Once you want to get the army together. Exactly. That's awesome, man. I'm really liking the field, guys. This looks sweet. And look at this FPV trailer we got going in. It's just an FPV trailer. It's got air conditioning, heating, charging, tools. 32 inch in there. Look at that. It's got TV going on. That's FPV. We're FPVing her right now. <laughs> so this is awesome. So we're gonna get some flying in. Um, I'll definitely do some live streaming and flying in a bit, a bit later. Um, but I'm gonna get some practice in first because I'm just excited to fly with these boys. So. I was having a lot of fun at this local flying spot and put my drone up in the tree because I kind of felt it happening. I'm like, I'm going to do this, but I was hoping it wasn't going to be on my like, second battery or th a third battery. But it happened. <laughs> we'll get her. We're getting it. We'll get her. We got to get the bolt first. <laughs> She's up there. You, you are now up there. Oh, come on. come on, drone. Okay, now we're tied to it. Get, it's wrapped around the arm. Hey, give her a nice yank, yeah. This side, if you start pulling Pull it this way, yeah. 
I think the lock's all tied up in there now, though. All right, let me see it. Let me see if I can. It's just like wedged so hardcore with that one arm in between that V. in there good so what happens when you try to go to space with your quad so the antenna is just, is out now we got an arm stuck in there and the bell is locked around it so it ain't moving oh and now the lock is stuck to the quad we've resulted to the broomstick method this is when you tie the cord to the broomstick and you bring it to the tree climber and he pokes it out so pretty sure this is going to be the most successful method now let's see how that works out all right the baby's coming home it just lodged itself so badly up there the blade decides to come and just is this or even the carbon if that the tip hits you you won't get cut, but it gives you one of those internal bruises that hurt for like a month. It is so close. Almost. It's like you're like a fucking like quarter yeah. inch from it. Like. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I was attached to the rope, so it didn't even swing down. That's amazing. <laughs> it didn't smash as it came down. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah! All right, broom come first. Air mail. <laughs> the drone gets retangled. Oh, what a fucker! <laughs> they got it now. One doing the battery. Woo. Well, I toss the battery down first. Well, or are you just gonna let, put it on your belt? I wonder if I could send it down. Yeah. Yeah, if not, I'd say just pull the battery off and throw that so the weight's off of it. That's awesome, man. Thanks, guys. Thank you, boys. That was awesome. Quad retrieval, done like pros. That was probably the highest I've ever seen one stuck and wedged in a brand. Oh, yeah. That, that is, I was, I was just saying that. It's been like almost a year. I'd say it's about a year. It actually got stuck harder as we started swinging on it. I think that's what happened, we wedged it even more. Like the antenna came out, then the arm and frame wedged harder into that V. It's been a long time since I've been stuck to a peak of a peak of a tree like that. I'm glad I had a semi or a professional tree climber here with us today, because uh, well I wouldn't I wouldn't have made it even halfway up that tree, so Charles, this man would make you proud. <laughs> That could be all its own YouTube channel. Just a guy retrieving quads for people in the most ridiculous places. Dude, that would be wicked. I need to put an ad on Craigslist. You should just do it, man. People would do it. He is lowering the drone down. Look at this. When, look at that. Wow, it's got rope literally pulled all over every fucking arm. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's how many times, like, successfully it got looped with the lock and rope, but just didn't come out until we got a broomstick. Look at that. It's and like it's knots all. around it. Like, it was no, tied well. like no broken arm. Look, it was, look, it got tied around the antenna and the frame there. Oh, no, he just did that. Never mind. <laughs> I'm like, how did that happen? The lock doesn't even fit there. <laughs> yeah, look at that knot. It's like I'm like, look at that knot. Looped around there. How did he do that? <laughs> yeah, how did he do that? I'm, I'm like, oh, he just tied that to lower the drone down. Fuck yeah. Awesome. You will live another day. Do you want us to like come and grab your feet? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Are you going? Are you going? I don't know. Yeah, that is really up to you. I could come grab you. Or I could just be an asshole and hold the camera and film you do this by yourself. I got you. You guys are awesome. Look at that. Yeah. And then you go. 
Bring it in. Yeah, man. I deserve a hug. Thank you. <laughs> thank yeah. you, guys. Honestly, thank you, man. Come on. I hug it out. I'm a hugger. Yeah. That's awesome. Quad retrieval. Get so, if anyone ever needs a quad call, Love, man. <laughs> what up guys so as you know I've been um, very sick um, I haven't been able to like uh, really be with lunchbox as much as I wanted to and I'm super sad about that the last few days have been really rough on me um, I just finished editing one of the videos um, just exporting and I saw the Instagram uh, live stories uh, that Ledgebox posted. I'm not feeling good at all, but I beat to show you guys what's up. And I left my phone um, in the RV with me, and he needs it so you guys can see what's happening. So let me show you. So guys, we're at Jeff's house. Um, him and his wife have been amazing. I can't even express. Uh, the southern hospitality is crazy. Oh, look who it is. It's Lunchbox. We found him right away. Let's go in, guys. Alright, let's see what's happening in here. Seems like it's a party. Wow. Jones there, whoa, whoa, whoa. Such a sweet track, what? That's sick. So cool. So guys, he set up the GoPro for you. At least you'll be able to see that footage the whole night. It's awesome. This is crazy. Are you plugged in right now? Yeah, the buttons like wrong with that. Hi guys. Oh, I didn't even know there was another area. That's crazy. That's crazy. Wow, so they literally took over the house with tiny whoop gates, guys. I had no idea I went this far. They literally did not hold back at all. Uh, gate down, and the attach. <laughs> You guys are the coolest. This is awesome. Up this crazy tiny whip course yeah, everywhere. Oh, thank you, everyone. Jesse Wait, from I'm Tiny Whip. Oh line. no, Jeff. Oh, it's not looking that good. Go film that. Oh, like, he's stuck, he's stuck on the line. Oh, His antenna got caught. His antenna got cut on the fucking gate. Oh, that's oh, crazy. Oh, oh, awesome. Oh, he's still good. Oh, oh no, he's not good. Oh, no, he's not good. Oh, he's not good. Oh, no, he's not good. His camera is at 90 degrees. I'm not sure if he can fly like that. <laughs> <laughs> So that is what we're doing tonight. Um, during the day, we got to go rip some bats at a local park, and then tomorrow we'll meet up with like the whole local crew, and we're just gonna go rip it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then hopefully, maybe after that, we might go shoot some guns because I really oh want to do that. Oh my god! Well, you're with gunslingers, so. And we're in Pepsi, <laughs> and yeah, we can go I would well. really like to go to shooting range. I've done it once in my life in Las Vegas, and that was it. And I just, I just want to. I just want to do it, man. Let's do it. <laughs> do you think they, do you think they would let us like fly a tiny whip onto the shooting range? 
Probably not. That'll be so well, much fun. Well, they don't exactly have security down there. Yeah, they do. Like, Every time I've been there, well, if, my you, if you went up to the security, they would be like, "Look at this little guy." I just want to like fly down like around the target. Every every time I've been there, I go down there. with That would be gun, like the best one way look footage ever. I've never seen anybody down there. Or have you guys ever taken like an FPV camera and put it on the bullseye? Uh, no. So that you're like looking at your own target as you're shooting be, it? No, because no, that, that wouldn't that be fucked up? Yeah, I can't afford that. Oh yeah, but I got like I don't know, like a fucking like twenty dollars shitty camera like in Iowa. Let's just put that on there. We could, we could. Oh, take I think it on we should there. do that. How awesome would that be if we like FPV in a shooting range? Like, well, you said it, so now you have to oh, do it. Jet, Gab, well, oh. you guys thought you guys were badass FPV in your pool cues playing pool. We're gonna FPV a gun. Whoa. <laughs> put the FPV on camera the tip of the on the gun, gun and then, and then the put the goggles on. <laughs>